Flagler Beach is the name of the town that I work with. It's a very small town in Flagler County in the northeast. A lot of the infrastructure that were built early on uh, in the 1920s and the 1930s were built very, very close to the, to the ocean itself. Since at least the 1980s, the city has adopted uh, a variety of different regulations that controls where people can go on the beach and how they can interact with the beach as a way of, of reducing the kind of damage that, that visitors actually cause. Um, um, and and that, that has worked pretty well. Uh, it's actually reduced significantly the rate at which the environment has been degraded, especially the, the, the coastal sand dunes. But um, it's actually quite a limited strategy as well. And so what's happened actually is over time, as the erosion has increasingly threatened the coastal road, that the State Department, which is uh, basically above the city when it comes to decision making, um, has the, the right and the responsibility to maintain that road. Um, and they think about the erosion problem in a very different way than the city does. The problem is, is that when you put a, a solid wall uh, on, on a beach, which is normally supposed to be eroding and dynamic as the ocean rises and these kinds of things, we get something called coastal squeeze, which is basically the idea that the coast itself gets squeezed between the ocean and the barrier that you've erected, and slowly over time you lose that beach entirely. Unfortunately, Flag the Beach, as I mentioned, is on a very small island, so there's only so many places you can move that road. And the challenge uh, for the city when it comes to the idea of relocating the road is that it's very politically unpopular because the only place really to put the road is in the middle of the town. And people who live in this area um, you know, are rightfully so, I think, afraid of, of increased traffic and they think that it's going to be dangerous for them. So they very, very heavily have resisted the idea of relocation. The Army Corps' idea is the best on offer, really, uh, at least the one, the best solution that's been suggested so far. Um, but uh, <laughs> even if it is a good idea, that doesn't necessarily mean it'll be implemented. Uh, and Flagler Beach was actually, uh, tragically, uh, really badly uh, in impacted by Hurricane Matthew in 2016. Um, and lots of, of infrastructure, particularly the road that we've been discussing, was badly damaged. Um, and this was actually the area where the renourishment project had been planned. So after the hurricane with the damage that was caused and the expense that was in, incurred by having to fix all of that, basically the Army Corps of Engineers said it's no longer uh, an economically viable idea. So they actually took that project off the table. So the city finds itself in a really tricky situation now where they know that the seawall idea is not the best idea. They know that relocation is really problematic politically for the citizens that live in the city. They know that renourishment would be good, but there's no money for it. So what's happened actually is the city has found itself right back in the beginning where they're allowed to implement you know, a, a limited number of, of uh, regulations to keep people off the beach. And they're basically uh, hoping that the Department of Transportation does the, the best it can to, to minimize the effects of the seawall that it plans to put in. So the solution that, that we suggest in, in the research or that I suggest in the research um, is a, a different kind of decision-making procedure that is called social choice. We have good scientific reasons to believe that this kind of evaluative procedure would be an improvement on what we're currently doing, but there aren't any mechanisms existing in the system right now that would bring that about. So instead, we look towards social movements and civil society as a possible mechanism for pushing those ideas onto the political agenda and getting them actually realized in practice.